Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today I'm going to be giving you guys 10 tips on the Steam Summer Sale and how to invest in it correctly. Okay, so let's start with some general info. First, it starts on the 25th of June 2019 and it lasts for two weeks. So right now, at the recording date of this video, it has about seven days left. I don't know when this video is going up, so that might not be an accurate time, but uh, it's currently about seven days left. And uh, some more general info, the reason that the skin is lowered during the sale is because people are quick selling their CSGO and other Valve game items so that they can afford the super cheap deals during the sale. Also, skins will lower throughout the course of the sale and they'll eventually hit a bottom price, which is the best time to buy. So make sure you do wait. Furthermore, bottom price for skins depends on the volume of the skin, so the higher volume skins will reach their bottom price faster. Alright, so now let's talk about some resources that you can use for the summer sale. Uh, the first one is whenisthenextsummersale.com. This is a good site to tell you guys when it's going to start based on where you live. It has a countdown and it also has the date for the alleged summer sale. It's not confirmed, it's just based on leaks, but the leaks have been right in the past. The next resource I have for you is my previous investment videos that I've made. I've made two videos total and each of them have had 10 skins that I've shown you guys that have, are going to be really, really good investments during the summer sale for a total of 20 total skins that I think are going to be the best possible skins for you to invest in during the summer sale. Another resource is TDM underscore Jesus and his investment videos. Uh, he said that he was going to make one for this summer sale and uh, he has not yet made one but he said that he's going to and he made a recent update that said that he was going to recently as well. Uh, he also stated that it was going to be around 100 skins that he's going to be talking about so that's definitely an option just make sure you realize that he has a bigger following than me and therefore he can move the market a little bit better than I can just based on what his word says and uh, because of that some of his items can be a little bit blown up in price after he talks about them and uh, for that reason some of his investments might not be as fruitful as they could possibly be so be aware of that when you're investing in stuff that he talks about also real quick just to clarify that's no diss towards him he's a great person great youtuber he's not doing the marketplace manipulation purposely uh, that's just happening because he's talking about items and then people are going and buying them so it's not his fault don't blame him for that uh, he's perfectly allowed to make any video that he wants to make it's just people that are buying the items and then blaming the manipulation on him when it's not actually his fault all right guys without further ado let's talk about the 10 tips that i have for you for this summer sale so number 10 is going to be try to wait for the right price to buy an item as i said each item has a bottom price that it's going to reach and uh, that is the best time to buy the item don't immediately go and buy items right when the sale starts uh, some games will go on sale later throughout the sale so uh, the item can always reach a lower price throughout the sale uh, you know happening and because of that there is always a right time to buy the item maybe you might miss it by a little bit that's okay but just try to aim for that bottom price and just try to you know have some patience and wait for the right price to buy the item uh, and that's how you can make maximum profit on it number nine tip that i have for you guys is to buy trade up inputs at lower prices because that's never a wrong move the nice thing about trade-up inputs is that if they go wrong as an investment, you can still use them to trade up to a nicer item. So stuff that trades up to covert items like those $3 or so investment uh, input skins are really, really nice to go for because you can always get a nice bigger item from that even if your investment goes wrong in the first place. So trade-up inputs are always a good idea and uh, you, you can never really totally lose on those even if the investment goes wrong. So those are always a good option if you want to stay safe during this sale. Tip number eight is don't spend all your investment money in one day. Some bigger games that some people are saving for are going to release later in the sale, so some other skins will drop in price. Uh, a lot of times the summer sale goes on for about two weeks or so, meaning that other games are going to go on sale later in the sale. And some people are saving for specific games, like maybe someone wants Grand Theft Auto, and Grand Theft Auto won't immediately go on sale, but it will go on sale later. So what they'll do is they'll wait until then to sell their skins, and uh, that means that skins can drop pretty much at any time depending on what people are, you know, what people are holding in their inventory for the Steam Summer Sale or during it. And so skins can drop throughout the entire sale. That means don't buy immediately. You can wait. Uh, you can wait for other games to go on sale until you get the right price that you're looking for. All right, moving on to tip number seven. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You want to diversify your investment portfolio. You've probably heard that a lot. Basically what that means is you don't want to just put all of your money into one skin. So for example, let's say you have the AK Redline. You don't put all of your money into just AK Redlines. You might want to buy other skins too. The thing with putting all your money into one basket is that sometimes that one investment can fail and then you're out a bunch of money. But if you diversify a little bit and buy other skins and not just one skin, 
then you can actually make a lot of money if uh, one of them fails but the others don't. So make sure you're diversifying what you're buying in, make sure you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Tip number six is hold on to investments. The recovery on the prices are not going to happen for a little while, so don't sell until recovery happens or you won't make the highest amount of money. Uh, the problem here with the same summer sale is that a lot of the prices aren't going to immediately recover to their original value. People are going to not have a ton of money to put in the market, of course, after the summer sale uh, ends because they would have spent all their money on games, of course. So skins aren't going to just skyrocket back in price and go back to their original values. It's going to take a little while for them to get there. So make sure you're waiting for that recovery and you're waiting for them to recover to about their original values. This could take even up to a few months, maybe even for some specific skins, this could take up to a year for the recovery to actually fully happen. And uh, because of that, you wanna just make sure you're holding onto these investments and you're, you're staying true to them. And that's when you're gonna make the most amount of profit. Tip number five is you don't have to invest. You can buy a skin that you've been wanting for a long time at a lower price. You don't have to invest during the summer sale. You can just have fun and you don't have to feel obligated to do anything. So if, you, if you've been wanting like a really nice knife for a while and the knife goes down in price during the summer sale, don't feel ashamed about buying it and not a different investment. Um, you can definitely just have fun with it and, and get what you want. So don't, don't, you don't have to go for investments and get a bunch of profit. You can definitely just go straight for something that you've been wanting that is dropping in price for the summer sale. Tip number four is when you're investing, you want to lean towards items with high starting volume like the AK-47 Redline because those items are going to recover faster and they're going to drop lower than most items. So items that have a lot lower volume, like items that have high sale prices just because they're older or rare, are maybe investments that you don't want to look towards. The higher volume items that a lot of people have are going to be better investments just because of how fast they move and uh, those, those are going to be one of the ones that you want to lean towards. Tip number three is how you should buy items during the sale. You should always place buy orders and they should be placed slightly above the lowest buy order in the zone of the price that you want to pay so that people can't take all of the items at the price you're willing to pay. Basically, when you find the price of the item that you're willing to pay, let's say it's $6 for an AK Redline, uh, maybe there's going to be buy orders at $6, so maybe you want to put the buy order at like $6.01 so that you can get the items faster than the people who are paying $6 exactly. So try to do something like that and you'll be able to get the items a lot faster that you're trying to invest in. Tip number two is don't worry if your investment fails, only invest what you're willing to lose. Sometimes other factors make a different course uh, happen for the item and that's perfectly okay so don't overspend and you won't get burned. Basically if your investment actually goes down the drain and you do lose money during this sale just because you picked the wrong investment, don't feel too bad, just make sure that you're only investing what you're willing to lose. If you invest too much and you lose and you that was actually money that you needed, then obviously you're going to feel bad about it. So just put aside some extra money that you already have. Like for me right now, my Steam wallet has a decent amount of money in it that I am willing to just completely invest in a summer sale. I'm not going to invest it in anything else, just a summer sale. And uh, if I lose it all, then that's perfectly fine to me. I won't, it won't affect my inventory overall or anything like that. So don't like sell a really nice knife that you have in your inventory that you've been wanting for a long time just to invest in the summer sale. You don't have to do that. Just put aside some extra money and put that into the summer sale and that'll be good. Finally, tip number one is try to stay away from buying one big item and instead buy a bunch of smaller items because your profit is going to increase exponentially if you do that. So for example, if you if you have $10 to spend and you can either buy an AK Redline for $7 or you can buy a bunch of MP7 Mischiefs for like 50 cents or whatever it is in the wear that you want. You might want to go with the smaller item because once those recover, they're going to recover to about double their price, roughly around the same amount of recovery that the red line is going to have you know, on their percentile. So what that means is that the smaller item is going to give you more money overall because you're going to be making about double your money on all of those small items and you're only going to make double your money one time on the AK red line. So maybe the AK red line goes from $5 and it goes back up to $10 once, you've done, once you're done investing in it and so you make $5 on it. But if you bought a bunch of those MP7 mischiefs at let's say 50 cents each, you'll have a whole bunch of those MP7 mischiefs that you spent $10 on and you'll end up with like $20, $30 overall once you sell all of them back just because of how many you bought of them. You definitely want quantity over quality in this case. So guys, that's going to be it for my 10 tips for the summer sale and some general information that you need to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully this video gave you guys a little bit of extra knowledge about what you need to invest in and uh, some ideas about you know how to invest during the summer sale. Hopefully this helped. If it did, let me know in the comments. Leave me a like if you enjoyed and if this helped you. 
and uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll definitely try to make more content like this in the future if you guys do like that idea. Also guys, be sure to leave any requests for future videos in the comments below. I do read your requests and I will humor them. If I think the idea is good, I can even put up a video with credit to you in the video itself to my channel. So yeah, thank you guys also for all the support I've been getting recently. We're getting very, very close to 100 subscribers. I think last I checked, we're at like 78 or something like that. So we're really, really close to 100 subscribers. So just make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and you're liking my videos and you're sharing them out and stuff like that. And we're going to reach that 100 goal very, very soon if we do that. And it's all thanks to you guys, of course. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll be doing another giveaway at 100 subscribers, a, a nice little bigger one than the giveaway that we did before. And also on the note of giveaways, uh, I do have the AK-47 Cartel giveaway, two of them now at this point, just because I got an extra one during trade-ups. Uh, so those two cartels, minimal wear each, are going to be both part of the giveaway that's happening in around four to five days at this point. It depends on when they get tradable, and I'll be picking another winner then, so keep your eyes out for that. That's going to be happening before the summer sale starts, of course, so if you win that giveaway, you'll have a little bit of extra money to spend on the summer sale. So guys, that is going to be all for today. Thank you again for watching, and I'm going to be signing out. Peace.